What's up guys? It's your girl Penny here and today is another episode of Penny's Kitchen. Today in Penny's Kitchen, I am going to be teaching you how to make this meal. What we have here on this plate that literally smells so good is some brown sugar garlic chicken that I made in the slow cooker, cheddar broccoli pasta, and then a baked potato with some parsley flakes, you know, just to spice it up a little bit. Before we go ahead and test try this amazing meal here, I am going to teach you guys exactly how I did it. We are going to be using boneless, skinless chicken thighs today. I am going to start by rinsing the chicken under cold water just, you know, to clean it off. And then I am going to place it in the bowl that I have here in the sink. And I am going to continue to rinse off the rest of the chicken under the cold water then I'm going to fill the bowl up halfway with water and then I'm going to grab some distilled white vinegar and I'm going to add that mixture to the bowl as well for cleanliness and moisture and things whenever it's being cooked and flavor then I'm going to mix up the chicken a little bit in the water in the vinegar mixture just to make sure it's all in there Then I'm going to drain the water and vinegar mixture and I'm going to transfer the chicken over to a tray that is going to help me season it and to get rid of some of the water that is in there. If you don't have one of these trays, then you will want to pat the chicken dry. Then I'm going to season it with seasonal, black pepper, onion powder, salt, any kind will do. And this is garlic powder, sorry I'm ghetto and this accent seasoning, and you wanna make sure that you only use a little bit of the accent because it does bring a lot of flavor to the chicken, so just be careful with that. Then you're gonna to wanna to flip the chicken over and make sure that you season the other side of the chicken with the same things that you used on the front side. Then I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to put it in a Ziploc baggie because I'm not actually going to be cooking it tonight. I want it to marinate in the seasoning and just really make sure that the flavor gets way deep down in there. I'm also going to add some minced garlic and some brown sugar to this chicken mixture. I just want to really make sure that this chicken is flavorful because like the flavor is the most important thing. Shake it up just a little bit, make sure that all the seasoning is evenly spread on the chicken and then stick it in the refrigerator until the morning. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that these tongs be tongan. Then I'm going to take the chicken out of the Ziploc baggie with the tongs and place it inside of the crock pot. After I finish up doing that, then I did go ahead and actually add a little bit more seasoning just because some of it came off with the water that developed in the bottom of the Ziploc baggie. And one thing my food will not be is flavorless. I can promise you that. Then I added some more minced garlic to the crock pot, and then I added some more brown sugar. From there, I mixed up all of the chicken just so that, you know, only the top wasn't seasoned, but I wanted it to go throughout the entire thing. Even though it marinated last night, flavor is so important and I don't want to lose any of it. To some people, this could look over seasoned, but I'm willing to bet money that this is going to come out perfect. Then I'm just going to take the tongs and make sure that the chicken is facing with like the pretty skin side up and the ugly side on the bottom. If you're using bone in chicken, then you want to make sure that the skin side is facing up whenever you load it into the crock pot. This is what it should look like inside of the crock pot. You do not need to add any liquid. It will form its own as it is cooking and then you want to put it on low for eight hours and let it cook we'll come back to it later finally only one more hour until the chicken is finished and i'm so excited because it literally smells so good in here i actually i did try a little piece of the chicken and i'm not completely sure i didn't give myself salmonella but i'm still here and as long as i can finish this vlog before I die, I think everything will be okay. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Well, kind of. Like, I'm hoping I don't die, but I did try the chicken already. Like, just a little piece to make sure the flavor was right, and it was right. Um, but yeah, let's just move on before anyone gets worried. We are going to start making the sides now, which I'm actually very excited about the sides today because I'm going to be making baked potatoes and I'm going to be using russet potatoes. And then I am also going to be making this cheddar broccoli pasta kind of stuff. And I make this all the time. I'm not gonna lie, I make this all the time and it's actually really good. It's really good. Now, me, myself, you know I gotta doctor it up a little bit, but I'm sure to someone out there, it's just fine exactly the way that it is. But those are the sides for today and I'm excited because I'm going to be making the baked potato in the oven as opposed to the microwave, which is what I would typically do. But I'm just feeling fresh and fancy and I want to try a new way to make a baked potato. So I'm hoping that this is really good. It should take like, I think 45 minutes to make the baked potato. So by the time I get done making everything, we should be right on track to the chicken being finished. And then we should be able to try this superstar meal. First things first, if you are also going to be making this meal at some point in your life, then you are going to want to preheat your oven all the way to 450. And I know that sounds super crazy. I thought the exact same thing. But the first time that I try a new recipe, I follow the recipe. It's not until the second time that I go in and I start changing shit, okay? Because until I know how it works, I cannot put my own flavor on it. I gotta, I gotta know the rules so I can break them, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, get your oven preheated. I already did. And then we're gonna start the prep work for the potatoes. First, we're gonna rinse off the potatoes and then place them on this rack here and then proceed to put holes all over the potatoes to avoid any explosions or anything in the oven. And then we are going to bake it for 25 minutes, again, at the heat of 450. Then you're gonna take some butter and you're gonna to wanna to melt that because we are going to need to put this onto the potatoes whenever they are done with the first round of baking in the oven. You don't need a whole lot, just enough to glaze the outside of the potatoes. Now that the potatoes have baked for 25 minutes, we're going to paint them with the butter. If you do not like to cook with butter, you can also use oil, like olive oil, not the extra virgin olive oil. I saw that on Google somewhere, um, but you could just look more into that if you're not a butter person. Now we move on to the pasta, which is so simple and so easy to make, you guys. We're going to start by adding three cups of water to this pot and remember that I'm making two packages so the recipe is going to be doubled for me then we're going to add some milk I use lactate because I'm lactose intolerant but we only need one cup of this then we put it on the stove wait for it to come to a boil and then we are going to add the contents of the package into the milk and water mixture. Of course, we're gonna wanna season that a little bit. I just used onion powder, salt, and pepper for this because, you know, it doesn't need too much, but it needs a little bit of work. Then you just stir it, make sure you turn down the heat and stir it for about like 10 minutes and then this will be ready. And oh my gosh, guys, look how good the chicken looks. Oh my God it looks so good oh mm, i can't wait to eat it do you smell it it smells amazing now that you know how to cook it i think it is time for us to go ahead and try this but i know that me trying my own food could be a little biased so i am actually going to have my sister try it first lauren come here it's done yeah but come here i need you to try this okay <laughs> right. I just need you to try it. Is this my plate? Yeah. I'm gonna need four. Okay. Honest review. We don't want to lie to the people in case they try this at home. First up, she's gonna try the chicken. So, yeah, let's try a piece of this chicken. I'm trying to get the perfect piece. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> it's bursting with flavor. <laughs> Definitely flavorful. It's actually good. Huh. Actually good? Were you expecting it not to be good? No, I like the flavor of this. This is really good, actually. The broccoli cheddar pasta. Okay, they do go together because originally I said cook sweet potatoes and mac and cheese with this chicken. This is actually fire, bro. This is really good. Why do you sound so shocked? Because I am. <laughs> like, Wait, what? Let me see. Let me see. No, this is good. What about the potato? I don't know, because this is the first time I ever like made it in the oven. And the parsley, the parsley flakes were just for a little razzle-dazzle. No, this is, real, this is a meal. This is a vibe. It's a whole vibe. Okay. All right, so out of 10, what do we rate the meal? You get a 10 out of 10. Oh! And that's 10 it. out of 10. What, boy? <laughs> Ay. Ay. All right, thanks for your services. Enjoy your meal. All right, I've earned my 10 out of 10 review, and I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my own plate. I hope that you guys go ahead and try out this recipe. Honestly, it's so easy. It is literally so easy to do. Doesn't take you a whole lot of effort or energy since it's in the slow cooker. And yes, guys, I know that it's called a slow cooker. I just like to refer to it as a crock pot. Forgive me. Anyway, if you try the recipe, be sure to let me know in the comments. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Mwah. Oh my gosh, that was Emma Chamberlain's thing, and I just stole it. I'm sorry, guys. Bye.